Hey yo, ready to go. Don't you know? We're gonna play that show. Hey! Eric with you. What are you blocking from your shirt? You got calmed down. <laughs> Sorry, I got calmed down. Hi guys, I'm John, and I'm originally from Florida, believe it or not. But we moved here when I was about three years old. Now I'm living out in DeKalb, Illinois for the last two years or so. <laughs> Eric with a D. My name is Drake. Drake Henning, I am from Evanston, Illinois. That is where I was born. Moved to Naperville when I was five. What a Jesus Christ. What are you guys? <laughs> I am, my name is Roberto De Leon. I am from Chicago, Illinois. I went to St. Patrick High School in the Northwest side. That's also where I grew up. I've been living out in DeKalb, Illinois like the last five or six years when I moved out here, when I moved out there for my undergrad. All right, let's hit the road. <laughs> let's get on to 30 D, baby. Hi, my name is Nick Kelly. I'm from Naperville, Illinois. I was born there and I stayed there for most of my life. Um, went to Naperville Central High School, did COD for a bit, I went out to ISU and then I dropped out when COVID started and then I'm going to COD now for welding, but on the side I do music. This is where I do a montage of us driving and then I add music. Checking in. This is like a shining hallway. Is that enough? No. <laughs> is it? A... I think I'm just. Wait. This bitch really isn't going in. Yeah, it's really not working. Well, no, wait. It has to be this one. Uh, <laughs> Did you not see the different in sizes? Check it out. It's beautiful rhythm. We're here, safe and sound. Hey, sir, are you looking for a good time? I've been looking for a good time. For me, music, when I got into it in high school, I started recording music because I really liked this artist named Christopher Blue. And the weird thing with him is that I thought he was still alive, but he'd been dead for like four years. So I was like, oh, we can't see this guy alive, but he was already dead. So I was like, oh man, this guy's been gone for a while. Let me, let me try to make some music like he was doing. I do like it, all right. <laughs> My main inspiration in music has to be my father. Ever since I was born, he has been teaching, uh, repairing instruments, pretty much being an all-around professional musician. This is our home for the next two days. I would say that my family members are the ones who inspired me to pursue music as a career. When I was in high school, like the more and more I got into performing with the different opportunities I was given with the different groups I participated in, you know, the more they um, helped me see it as a legitimate career path for me. Nick finally made it. So I, I met some friends my freshman year of high school. Um, my buddy Cameron Palmer and my buddy Nick Kajakian, who's now a drummer I work with. And my buddy Cameron was really good at like shred metal and so I, I just really like get into like what he would do and just seeing him play like super fast licks, I was like, that's crazy. But I was never really into metal, I just really liked the idea of like playing guitar. And so he would be like just a huge dick to me and just kind of keep pushing me and pushing me to get better. Like just talking shit about me every time I pick up a bass or a guitar. And eventually I did get better. And, you know, I feel like indirectly he, I, I tell him all the time, like even though like, I feel like I'm better than him now, I tell him all the time like I wouldn't be where I'm at if I weren't inspired by him in the first place. I guess he could jump we went to the <laughs> corner, ran here. Did you jump to that tree? Oh, that tree. Oh, that one? That I one, thought yeah. you were talking about like that I one. I was talking about that one, but no, no. this one's definitely There's more no possible way. I think with a running start, you could, you could maybe catch that. What is it? Generator? It's probably for air conditioning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know how air conditioning? Yes, I know. I need some air conditioning outside. <laughs> John. Do you know how air conditioning works? Yes. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> Baby girl, what's your name? <laughs> what's your name? Who's your daddy? Yeah. Is you rich? Is you rich like me? I gotta say my favorite artist at the moment is the band The Johns. I really like The Johns, which is funny, because I know a lot of Johns, but it's not The Johns I know. These guys are from Canada. Or you. Canada. John, I dare to steal a boat, bitch. The what? My favorite artist at the moment is probably gonna be Jonathan McComb, because I've got to see him grow and... <laughs> I've got to see him record, grow, 
pretty much like the whole last two years have has been one of the best journeys in my life. Boy, I hate a white balance just to it's like so dim in here. At the moment, I can't pick one, but it'd have to be between Kamazi Washington, Pool, Hans Zimmer, Nabiscuit, 21 Savage, Mob Deep, Detain. For me, those are my all-time favorites. Disney Channel movie, like... <laughs> Disney Channel. <laughs> Look at the setting! It's hard to say. I mean, I think probably Mac Miller. He's been my favorite for like, I don't know, probably, probably since he's died. I didn't start listening to him until he died. I hate to admit it, but like I wasn't really into hip hop at the time. But ever since I started listening to his music, it just opened up a whole new door of like creativity. And in fact, when I first started producing, I made beats to sound like movies with the sound off. I, I really liked the beats on that album, um, and also his composition. So his guitar playing, his piano riffs, the samples he used, his drum patterns, everything that that's produced in his music is just incredible. So you know, I'll, I think I'll, I'll forever be digesting what he created. What does he have to do, John? One water and paint. Yeah, have a blue man group moment. Now with these drums, you know. Or a bald cap, paint yourself blue. I can't join the blue man group. There's a there's a height cap at like six three or six four, really? not six five. Yeah. Damn. Why are you coughing? I would really call myself a guitarist, but I can fool around on the bass, drums, piano, and I can sing. I'd say I can sing. Pretty well. I love playing all of it and just kind of throwing stuff together. I play the bass. I also used to play the tuba. Those were where my roots were. Um, due to some physical complications, I couldn't continue on with that. Oh shit. <laughs> that sounds good as hell. I am a percussionist. For John's group, I am the drummer. For percussion, for those who don't know, is it, it, could, it can be a collection of many different instruments. Uh, just to name off a few as an example, it could be marimba, drum set, snare drum, timpani. I play guitar, um, a little piano, and I produce a little bit. Um, I produce like EDM, not EDM, but like EDM blues kind of stuff hip-hop kind of kind of vibes. Just a lot of guitar-oriented kind of projects. But yeah, for the most part, it's hip-hop and EDM influenced, so yeah. To me, music is like the ultimate expression of life. And I honestly find it very therapeutic in nature. I love the collaborate, the collaborative aspect of it as well. It's it's really there's nothing else like it. In high school, music really became like this big thing for me where I was like, wow, this is like the most pure expression where I felt like a lot of stuff that I was listening to applied to my life at the moment too. Because late high school for me was a lot of different stuff was going on, you know, it was happiness, sadness, it was a big change change of pace for me. For me, music was like, hey, I can maybe take the experiences I'm having right now and try to, to write about them myself. And maybe some other kid my age can say, hey, you know, I'm going through that too. <laughs> music means to me what my beginning band teacher taught me many years ago. Music is, ex is how you express yourself through sound. I'm paraphrasing, but he said something similar to that. Music to me is like, it's kind of like the accompaniment to life. So like when you're going about your day, like most people go about their day with like headphones in, you know, they're just, music is such a quintessential part of like everybody's life. So I think it's just that background noise that everybody trudges along in the daily struggles and shit like that. And they just, they always need that. It's, it's something that tethers into it and tethers me to it. You know, I like creating just as much as I like listening. Growing up, I definitely loved alternative rock, and I can thank my mom for that. She had 
these select Green Day, Fall Out Boy, Linkin Park songs on our iPod. I would, I would definitely find a lot of joy in listening to that, that kind of style. So that, that's really where the passion began for me. A lot of 70s music, 70s all around. Um, my grandparents were in the 30s and the 70s. My my mom and dad were in you know, the early, you know, like late middle school, early high school days. So there's a lot of 70s for me in the household growing up. Louis James Taylor, John Denver, all those guys. Gordon Lightfoot was cool too. Growing up, I listened a lot of the music that my friends and my dad listened to. My dad was always into ACDC and, you know, I'll listen to them forever. Um, also, growing up, I listened to a lot of hip hop and EDM. I didn't touch like any hip hop. I, I listened to the Beatles a lot, the Rolling Stones, my dad's kind of music. And then when I ventured out on my own, I really got into like Skrillex and like Dead Mouse and like a bunch of EDM, or EDM and dubstep guys. And then after that, I got into like 80s and then 90s and then 60s eventually. How was rehearsal? Uh, it was pretty good, but I don't, I don't know. We're going to AJ Bombers for a hamburger. Ah! Oh my goodness, excuse Drakey food. What the fuck was that, Drake? It looks like the footage food. It looks like the Blair Witch Project, look. <laughs> We're at AJ Bombers, recommendation of the drummer. I'm Roberto. What the fuck is that? Help, bro! Use your magic to kill this fucking spider. Dude, you're tall. Hit him on the roof, bro. Yeah. He's to kill his ass. I'm not getting bit before me comes. <laughs> bit before me comes. I'm not getting bit. Do you hear the prima donna? Do you hear? Look, the fame's the already getting to his head. The fucking fame's getting to his head already. You're just gonna, you're just gonna drop it in the carpet and then you're gonna lose it. No, I'm not gonna lose it. Get the hell out of my way. Watch out with the light, John. He's not doing anything. Yeah, as long as we see that he's up there, we'll be fine. I'm gonna yeah. wake up and yeah. go. We're gonna kill him before he goes in. I'm not even gonna mess up. I don't want a spider in my room, bro. It's, it's not your room, okay? Yeah, it's the Airbnb's person room. Here. You can sleep with a spider in your head. I'm messing with the spider. Oh, oh, that's a mighty <laughs> big claim to make there. I'm gonna do this the hard way? Okay, he's in. Okay, please don't fall. I don't want to fall. I got you. Okay. I had this one teacher that said, uh, yeah, like, you're good at the bass, but you should really rethink your life with a guitar. You should probably put it down. I was like 15. And I was like, wank that guy. So <laughs> I kept playing and he was like the only guy that didn't like me playing like that. So the other teachers helped me out, but then when I graduated there, they told me they didn't know why I was ever there in the music program. So yeah, that was really weird. They were like, I don't know why you were here. I don't know what you were doing. And they basically told me, you know, just screw off. Didn't quit though. And now look where I am. So look where you are. My, uh, my grandpa, he like took one piano lesson when he was like really young, he had a note that he got in front of his piano teacher. He was the only kid that got sent home with a note and he was really proud. And he gave it to his mom and it just said, <coughs> just said worthless. All right.